Porter slowed up a lot. He slowed up a lot. He made him. Oh! Oh, man. Yo, he finally got him. Let me tell y'all something. Oh, man. Something. When Terrence Crawford's got your rhythm, when he understand your timing, yo, it's a wrap. Oh, man. All fight long, he's been timing him, timing him, timing him. He finally caught him coming in. Yo, this man hurt. This man is this man is hurt. He's hurt. I ain't, I'm. He's hurt because he's not coming forward. So this is a legit knockdown. Oh, yo! Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. They keep saying this man ain't got punching power. But if bodies keep dropping, then there's got to be something in there. If buildings keep blowing up, there's dynamite somewhere. That boy got dynamite in his hands. People got to stop hating on this dude. Man, listen. The entire fight, Terrence Crawford was playing as a matador, doing his lateral movement. He knew that when you fight a blitzer, you don't just go at the blitzer. You have to kind of sort of time him coming in and, and do your lateral steps. Then he every all along he just kept on timing him and timing him and, and using his head movement and shoulder movement and just timing Porter coming in. When Porter was stationary, then Bud really just started to take over from there. So Porter had to keep coming forward. And the problem with that is that he was getting time. And the, the announcers kept saying, Oh, the, the fight is closed, the fight is closed. It's closer to the eye. For some reason, with Terrence Crawford and Canelo, everybody keeps saying the fight's close until someone's body dropped. And they said, well, why are these people body dropping? Knockouts don't just happen right off the back unless it's a one-punch knockout. It, if you see a person's body start to break down, it's because something is happening. So, obviously, Terrence Crawford was dominating the fight. Y'all just couldn't see it. Now, I'm going to tell you when this fight ended. It was in the eighth round after um, my dude was dropping, throwing them overhand rights. Porter kept dropping them overhand rights. And everybody's going crazy. Oh, my gosh. And it, I'm not going to lie. Terrence Crawford was hurt. His legs stiffened. But something about hurting Crawford wakes him up. Yo, he hit him with a body punch in that eighth round, which turned the whole fight around. Because now he Porter was hurt. He was visibly hurt, and he wasn't coming forward anymore. He stopped coming forward. When he stopped coming forward, they knew he was hurt. In the ninth round, he tried to take the ninth round off. But Crawford, when Crawford hurts you, Crawford keeps the pressure on. Crawford kept landing body punches. Kept landing them darn things. And he just kept hurting them in the body. And Bo Mac was telling him in the corner, yo, you see that? You see that? He hurt. He's not coming forward no more. If you got a guy that's coming forward and all of a sudden he stopped coming forward, obviously you did something right. And he's hurt. So he came in there, he tied him, he landed them darn punches. When Errol Spence dropped him, he got back up. He kept fighting. It was a flash knockdown. When Adrian Broner dropped him, it was a flash knockdown. But when this dude Terrence Crawford hurt him, he was severely hurt. And his dad knew it. That's why he stopped the fight. This is D-Ross M-Man Boxing. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. Peace out. And still, the young